So, welcome back. I've been letting the game sit for a while, not letting the time run, just trying to figure out what the right course of action is. Poland is just getting wrecked because the Ottomans decided they wanted Moldavia. And, you know, why wouldn't they? I'm sure there's good stuff there. Um, so yeah, Poland's getting wrecked and uh, they're just ripe to be attacked and I've got you know, it's, this would be a perfect time to take Celestia off them, to take this area, to even give them some some Polish lands to the Teutonic Order, but I just don't know if it's the right time. I feel like I feel like consolidating more in the West, like vassalizing Mecklenburg, Saxe Lauenburg whatever their name is, uh, I'd probably just annex Anholt. I think attacking these guys first would make the most sense, so I think that's what I'm going to do, because even if I dis disband my alliance with Poland, I wouldn't be able to attack them immediately. Probably going to wait until Austria, because uh, Austria and Poland are eventually going to become rivals, I'm almost positive. If Austria ever does what they should do and take some of Venice's land. <coughs> but that's not happening. So when that diplomat comes back, we're gonna we're going to build a spy network and get a claim on these guys and and then We'll see what where things go. This territory is pretty pretty weak too. Um, I may not really have to vassalize, and this is a thing I might just be able to. I might just be able to annex it and spend the administrative power because down the road, uh, once my. Once I get influence up, I'm going to be really low on diplomatic power, and oh, that's not a good place to be. You don't want to fall behind in diplomatic power when you've got a lot of vassals, because every ability or every tier they get above you, they get 5% liberty desire. That's not a good thing. Okay, we'll just go a little faster temporarily, just to kind of get things going. Ooh. Ansbach. Excellent. That'll give me a nice little... That'll give me a nice little bump. A little bit of military. Sorry, I smelled something really, really gross, and it's probably myself. If that sniffing was... Oh. If that sniffing was irritating anyone. Okay. Ah, oh, I have a hard time. Uh, if I do Venice, that'd be perfect, because I'll make Austria happy. That's good. I don't think I should try to vassalize Saxony until I get my influence and innovative all the way up. Ooh, my buttons are working. Well, I have no idea why that happened, but they did. So, my three vassals versus on halt mains and those guys I should be able to do it just fine. Alright. Let's do it. Eh, it's not a terrible king. It's not the best king. It's not the worst king.
And we'll bump it up just a little bit since my buttons are working now. Ooh. See, so it was 5-5, five, five, and like, even though I haven't done hardly anything with military, and it's getting very, very few, my military technology is going to be the one that gets really far ahead. Because once this hits uh, 7, I'll put... I'll get a diplomatic technology thing to take, and it might get a little imbalanced for a while, but it just really works the best, I think. And I think, I think, 19, it's not terrible. That's probably worth it, though. Probably should have done mains first, just because um, it's going to take a while for Anhalt to. It's going to take a while for them to be able to be annexed. Ally military strength. Oh, okay. Oh, I really hope that I really hope I can take out mains before they take my capital. Oh, thank God. All right, so just our basic money grab. Still probably gonna win, but if they had taken that, it would have been very frustrating. Oh, man, I've been getting a lot of I've been getting a lot of mercantilist stuff. Inflation, yeah, master of mint and that guy. So, man, that's a lot. Of a lot of <sighs> you know what I'm running low on money a little bit I think <sighs> that stuff's gotten a little bit lower you know what I think I think we're going to get rid of both of them. That just makes the most sense to me. Pump that up. And, yeah, we're going to... I'm just going to upgrade that, too, just because... <coughs> it makes sense to kind of get that taken care of. Excellent. So now we can raise taxes. There we go. It's not that I needed to do that. It's just eventually military is probably going to get out of balance, and it's it's good to be a little ahead in those things. Plus, you get a little bit of extra income. It's always good to be ahead in technology. All right. So we're taking you. better. Seven. It's one from this guy. That we don't have anymore.
Well, I might be able to take <coughs> Livonian order pretty soon. That's interesting. Why hasn't Denmark attacked them? Ah, Teutonic Corps is not going to like us anytime soon. We need that. So I'm probably going to do... Yeah. That's why I like vassal feeding, because if I conquer them and then I conquer Mecklenburg... Yeah, it's an AE hit, but at least they'll be able to... I've got... I'm going to have seven diplomatic relationship after this. Fuck it. And you know what? Now we're just going to wait and hope that nobody attacks the Livonian order. Oh, that's that's actually helpful. Okay, that's good. So Saxony, why aren't you available to attack anyone? Oh, I really want to pull these people in, but I just don't care. The money's low. I don't really need the stability. Burgundy, Mecklenburg, all the Oh, this would be a perfect time to attack Mecklenburg, but... 49, yeah, no. We'll wait. We'll wait a few years. Hey. Well, my cat wants to be let out. Pardon me a moment. Oh, he's a good kitty. Okay. Improve. Okay. So we got two years. Muscovy is cleaning up. Ooh. Poland and with oh, that would have been that would have been the perfect time. Ottomans attack. Muscovy cleans up Novogord and is going to have to put some people into... Man, that would have been a perfect time to attack, but... Well, i got to improve their relationship. They're getting low. This is also the other thing about innovative. Um, having three or one potential more advisor, that gives you one that's potentially useful, like a national tax or production even if it's just plus one that's great for I mean that's 12 a year 120 for 10 years and then the the bonus of the taxes or production like Brandenburg just doesn't have a lot of money to start once I can get the Lubbock trade node it'll be better but that can take a while in most of my games at least I did experiment one game where I would actually just ex get Pomerania, then move this way, but uh, even if I got Lubbock early, it was just took such a long time to get through into into Poland. Poland just gets so powerful, and if they turn into the Commonwealth, you know, in 60 years from the start of the game, if they spend their points right, they could turn into the Commonwealth, and then there's just, even with Austria, and Hungary, and if I've got a couple vassals, it's just I'd, I'd need I'd need Muscovy to be an ally, and they just don't want to be my ally for a long time until they absorb their vassals. Have they absorbed? Ooh, they've absorbed quite a few this time. And the Ottomans are 
doing their thing. Probably going to take out both of those guys and attack attack the Balkans soon, too. What do we've got? December, so we got two years. Oh, fuck. Thank God it's an... Ah, that's awful. It's six years old. not a disaster, but it's it's definitely going to take a while to get this aggressive expansion down. Almost. Almost. Livonia. Livonian Order has no allies, so... Ah, four. That's good. I should be able to handle them myself. All I really need to do is take down two sieges, and I should be fine. And hopefully they just focus on Riga. you Denmark Mecklen, I don't care if Denmark's the only one that's cranky that shouldn't be a big problem oh yeah we're gonna <sighs> I need my administrative but I think for right now I need to bump that up just because I need to get that done ASAP get my influence up, then I can transfer it back. Oh, you've been aced. So now we're gonna try... Ooh, ooh. I think... Oh, a, this is it. This is the other one. Advisor cost minus 10. We were talking about that before. You get innovative, you get influence, you get diplomatic, you get this. Your advisor cost goes down like 65%, I believe. Maybe 55 I, I don't know, but it's just... They become so much cheaper, and then you can afford those glorious five-star... Those glorious five-star people. This is one I'm always a little confused on. I tend to go with autonomy change, because I don't really promote a lot of cultures. I like to... I like to just convert, but monthly autonomy change. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then we go influence. If I was smart, actually, if I was if I was smart, seven five. No, now we can. We'll go influence. I don't want to be ahead and military technology anyway, so. All right, where are we? Denmark. One point nine. Ugh. I could wait a few years. I'm in no rush. Oh, in fact, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just raise taxes. 
I'll just wait. Get some extra gold. Just chill out for a second. It's not that I'm scared of Denmark forming a one-nation coalition. It's more just I'd rather not, if they did form one, they maintain that for a long time. And if I did get any other weird stuff going on, I'd if I did get another coalition, they'd all join up together. So it's okay to just wait for a few months and be good. Here we go. So, vassal, no no treaty, no released nations, not revoking any cores. I could take their gold, because they'll recover over time. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, let's do that. I'll take their gold, not revoke any vassals. Okay. And the reason I keep checking this over and over is I'm doing Iron Man. Like, if I do something stupid, like, accidentally unclick this, I can't just reload and <laughs> do it. So I have to be pretty careful. All right, so, ooh, 84. So, 44. 40 years. Did spend a lot of time waiting, but... Right now, we've basically got the entire coast vassalized. There's a little bit of Denmark we're going to have to take out, probably once Poland gets a little bit of their... gets a little bit of their uh, manpower back, because I think right now we're... Oh... 40, oh, that's not too bad. But... Nine. Okay, one more year. We'll use them to take out Denmark, just reconquest that stuff, and uh, I should be... Once we do that, I probably don't need Poland anymore, because Saxony will be a decent ally, ally and I'm going to turn these guys into a march. Oh, you guys still hate me, but we'll just stop doing that. And then turn you into a march. And your stuff's being ripped out. Okay. And then we are going to try to make Riga really happy. Annex them and then give them to the Livonian order. <coughs> I don't think I have the corona, but maybe I do. Mm. All right. Oh, well, that was fast. I've got no diplomat, so... Yeah, well, we're gonna wait one year, just... Let our stuff settle, train up. I'll just do one cannon for you right now. And then... Oh, that's good. That'll give us... I don't really even need this one right now, but... Capital, that's not going to help. Colonies, I don't care about... Yeah, I might as well go with transfer subject. So... Yeah, we're going to leave the Livonian Order alone. Oof. Yeah, that would be plenty. I've got Denmark. I've got you. So this will be good prestige. Good everything. All right. Poland. Oh, I need... Damn it, Austria. 
Oh, should I wait? Should I wait? That'd make it much easier, although I could save them for another time. Actually, I need to save them for when I attack Poland later. Oh, I'm such a bastard. Poland's been a good friend. All right, reconquest. Yeah, let's do Revel. So Saxony, you... And... Fort Defense. Oof, actually, look at that, like a 0.61 a month. Oh, he's 50% cheaper. Oh, well, I thought my stuff had kicked in for some reason, but it didn't. Now yeah, we just want one for right now, I need to save that. And we're going to take you... Take you kind of quickly. So Breville's a priority. Once we get that, I won't have to worry too much about this side because Poland and Lithuania should be sending a lot of their stuff over. And this will also start the ticking war score. Oh, I keep forgetting. I've got to do my war taxes. Do I want to lose prestige? Do I want to lose stability? Government reform. Government reform. I'm going to be getting the advisor cost reduction thing anyway, and that's not going to be a problem for a while. I need my prestige. Oh, sweet. Okay, so these guys are going to be pushing a lot up there for quite a while. I just have to make sure that... Oof, shit. Why did that not... Why didn't they group up? Seven. Ouch. Oof. That is a rough siege. Oh, that is a rough siege. That went very fast. That's okay. I should be able to take that down reasonably quick. That's a decent air too. Oh, that's good because I'm going to be needing diplomatic pretty soon. I don't need this to be a big victory. I just need to... I take out those forts. Once they take Stockholm out, if I can... I should be able to get a big enough... a big enough war score just to take those through. Because I think all I... It's not really a lot to take those. Yeah, 22. If I can get my capital free... my little vassal. Yeah, we want that. Oof, they got it at 7% and I'm stuck here at 35 for what, six months?
Where are we? Okay. More advisors. That's good. Can I get anyone useful? No. No money. Pfft, discipline. Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough money. What I should have done is just turn these guys and made them do scuttage. Because... They don't really provide a decent army to fight with. Ooh. The only thing I would really want to wait for, potentially, is just to get, like, that war reparations, just because that is... that is so nice. Um... my chance. Oh, fuck. All right. I just need to get that one more fort. I should have done it when I had the chance. If I can take their fort and clear up that that thing, I might be okay. Oh, that's good. And that's all I really need, just those three. I got all you, maybe a little gold. One more? No, not 68 is fine. Beautiful. Liberty desire, perfect. So, now we're going to annex you and give you to Livonian order. And then, I oh, might be able to annex you too. Oh, I can annex you. Let's annex both of you. Well, we'll just do one at a time. We're not going to get the... We're not going to have enough points to really do both at the same time. It'll go pretty quick. Oh, hell, why not? So something I like to do is try to offer vassalization to people, but it's usually pretty hard. This is a pretty decent early game. The only thing I that might have been able to be a little bit better would be um, if I'd had a AE or aggressive expansion reduction person from the beginning, like every single month, um, I would have been able to probably take one. Like I probably been able to take Mecklenburg before, or maybe Magdeburg, um, but probably just one of them because um, I had quite a bit of AE. And I'm nowhere near powerful enough to fight a coalition right now, but I mean, let's we'll just take a look at this right now. Just 1492. 
I've got this is a vassal march. Teutonic will probably be able to be absorbed pretty soon. Um, we're going to try to get Lubbock and Mecklenburg and Magdeburg, kind of finish out this area right here for that sweet money. And uh, then I think after that, we'll try to go after Saxony. I don't know if uh, I don't know if we'll have the capacity to do that with all of our aggressive expansion, but they've been pretty helpful. I'd love it if we could get a personal union on them or something, but that's just a lot of luck involved in that, and our prestige probably isn't superlative either. Prestige, diplomatic reputation goes down. Oh, fuck, you're allowed with Poland. Oh, no. Ah, shit. Well. Uh, 11. Yeah, we could do that. Do Lubbock, Madgeburg. Oh, you're just... Okay. That's what we're going to do. I really like getting this area up here. I mean, these are three excellent spots to put your burger estates on. Um, and then once you get burgers on here, here, and here, and I'll probably put them on here, here, and here too when it's time to... Well, I could do one of them right now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll probably do you too. <sighs> Bremen. Lubbock. Okay. Here's the thing. I may not be able to do this for a while, but um, since these are free states, if I get Verden, I'm going to wait a little bit. If I attack Lubbock, I should be able to annex one of these if my aggressive expansion is pretty low. Then... Well, I should be able to get both of them, and I should. There might be a small coalition, but as long as I have almost no AE, this one's usually like 29, this one's usually like 30 something, and yeah, it's close. But if I annex one, then I wait a few years for the other one. It might form a small one, like four or five nations, but it'll still be manageable. And then I can either just wait a few years and vassalize this. Um, and I should normally vassalize that one because there's going to be a ton of uh, administrative points for those two. Actually, what I should do, I should feed them to Brunswick. And that's what I'll probably do is I'll get that one to Brunswick. I'll take that one, give those two to Brunswick, take that for myself, vassalize. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Where are we with all of our stuff? Well, Teutonic Order. Your time is not long for this world. Hmm. So this is the part where um, we're really just like looking for opportunities and trying to play smart because even though we're in a really good starting position, we don't have our morale of armies upgrade. We don't have our infantry combat ability. We don't have any military IDs. We don't. We haven't finished our our groups right there. Um, it's uh. It is, we're just in a precarious situation. Uh, 
I mean, because, like, right now, I, with my manpower and my resources, I couldn't beat Austria by myself or Hungary by myself or Poland by myself, let alone Poland and Lithuania. I couldn't beat Muscovy. I could not beat Denmark on my own with all of their stuff. So, I mean, we're in a good position, but we got to develop and we got to consolidate. And that's probably the part of the game that for a lot of people might be the most boring, but it's also the part that we make a lot of mistakes on. This would be a good time if if I was smart. And this is why I would sometimes get economic as my first or my, uh, my, my third idea is because... Um, Sometimes I get it as my second idea, actually, but that doesn't work out. I just overload administrative power. I just can't make enough of it. But, like, construction by, by 10, construction down by 10. That's a good time to build buildings. And that just really helps with income, manpower, and trade. Oh. thing I can take you out oh yeah you're allied with Burgundy yeah we can't fight Burgundy either we can't fight Poland just had a war with you there's nobody over here we want to fight so ah, and you're my only ally and you've got tons of favors oh. come on Bohemia Australia, you haven't done anything. Why didn't you take out Venice? You dumb, stupid Habsburgs. <sighs> that is what I could do. Do you, you, need, you have no other allies besides Poland I can attack? Well, at the very least, take out Verden. Get a little bit of money, get a little bit of land. It's not super expensive to core them. It's going to be expensive to core you and you. I wonder if I could give Hamburg to Brunswick. If they had that, they should be able to handle it. But again, I can't. <sighs> if I had trust is low. So their trust on me 62. I might be able to vassalize them someday. Like if their trust ran out of 62, then I'm going to be 21. I could do that. You know what? I may do that. I may just do that temporarily, just sit on them to save myself aggressive expansion later. I could take out Madgeburg right now, take out Verden, let my stuff recover, wait. Yeah, let's do that. And the rest of these I don't really care about. Okay. Ugh, this is the most stable I've ever seen Poland's... Poland's rivals. Normally, they eventually go to Austria. Uh, the Ottomans. Me. They're just standing nice and continuous. Mm. <sighs> Attack 
you. That's the problem. I can't get Hamburg unless I... All right, we'll just get do this and get money from Lubbock. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. All right, guys, we've been kind of sitting here for a while, but I think this is a decent place to be. I mean, well, it was about 50 years. You got a lot most of the north consolidated. I'm gonna... Are they gonna try to vassalize Brunswick diplomatically? Maybe... Uh, that's what I may do. Because Saxony did not have any allies, and I would need to... I do want to try to take them out beforehand, so... Is there anyone I can... Let me just see one really quick how much it's going to take to... Yeah, so once their trust goes up and their favors goes up... Yeah, 10 years. They should be okay. Ah. I'm just vassalizing them for free. I really need to just try to vassalize Munster for free, too. Distance to borders. Yeah, it's not going to do 20. Well, you know what? <coughs> I'm going to take a little break, guys. We'll continue this.